Today we're installing a TOS full system razor tip exhaust on a Yamaha FZ07. The first thing you need to do is completely remove the OEM exhaust off the motorcycle. After you do that, there's a bracket underneath where your stock catalyst mounted. Use a 10 millimeter socket to take that off and flip it around backwards and tighten it back up with your wrench. After that's done, the next thing you're gonna do is install the down tubes. If you'll notice, when you receive them, they'll have stickers labeling cylinders one and two. If for some reason they don't, or you happen to order it in black powder coat, it's very easy to distinguish between the two. Cylinder number two is closest to the right side of the bike, and that has slightly more bend in this header, and also the spring tab is off to the side. So you don't want to mix those up when you install them. First install the first cylinder. Make sure you install your new header gaskets. Follow that by installing the second header. Do not tighten them all the way, but you want to snug them up so you have adequate adjustability, but it's not falling off the motorcycle. After you have your down tubes installed, you install your collector with the spring tab facing up onto the mid pipes. If you need to, you can use some WD-40 as lubricant to slide it in and just work it in there. Make sure it's completely bottomed out, rocking it side to side to make sure. Now that your collector is installed, everything should be able to rock back and forth pretty generously. Take your springs and install them at this time. This will also help you with installation because you can ensure that everything is bottomed out. It's a lot easier if you install it on the collector first and then pull it into place one at a time. And like I said before, a spring puller tool makes it a lot easier. But if you don't have it, a lot of people use vice grips. I would stay away from needle nose pliers because you get it almost there and it stretches and then it springs back and shoots across the garage and you'll never find it. So if you have a spring puller, that's great. Otherwise use something that'll hold it tight. Now the next thing we're going to do is behind the foot peg, there's the mounting bracket. You're going to need to flip this bracket around backwards. You may already have your foot peg removed from when you removed your OEM exhaust. If you don't, you're going to go ahead and remove it. I would suggest putting some sort of tape, either masking tape or electrical tape, over your frame and any other parts of the bike you may be worried about scratching. So now it's removed and you can easily see the bracket under here. You're gonna to need to remove that and flip it around. So when you reinstall this, you're gonna place this on the front with the threaded portion facing you and the bolts will thread in from the back side. Very easy to do. And you can go ahead and tighten those up finger tight and then tighten them up with a 10 millimeter wrench to make sure everything is good. Now we're going to install our muffler. Make sure that your supplied clamp is on the end of your mid pipe before you install it. Your rear set will already be loose from when you took your stock exhaust off. So you just slide it onto the back of the header. I would suggest putting some tape on the top of your muffler and your frame so you don't scratch it all up before you install it on your bike.
You're going to line up the tab with the hole in the bracket that you just flipped around and install your supplied M8 bolt and washer through the tab and the mounting point on the motorcycle. Install the washer and follow with the nut. Only tighten the nut finger tight right now because you're still going to want some adjustment in there. You can reinstall your factory rear set. Make sure you have adequate clearance between the brake and the muffler and the back of the muffler and the swing arm. If it's hitting on the brake, since you left your bolt loose, you'll be able to pull down on it and get it away from the brake. And you'll also be able to rotate the exhaust up and down to help you. You can now tighten your bolt using a wrench and a socket or two wrenches, whatever you prefer. After that's tight, make sure that your collector still has good clearance between the oil pan and that nothing is hitting. If for whatever reason, the muffler is hitting the swing arm, Simply put your hand on the collector and push it towards the bike and it will rock the muffler away from the swing arm. If it's sticking out too far, do the opposite and pull it towards you and it will bring it closer to the bike. You can also adjust the angle of the collector to help with your adjustments too. There's a lot of adjustments in this exhaust and you don't want to take advantage of all of that to make sure it's installed on your bike properly. After you're satisfied with the adjustment of your motorcycle's exhaust, tighten up your clamp, make sure that nothing moved, and then follow it up by tightening your headers in the bike, in the head. Snug those down to your factory torque specifications. The last thing you're gonna do is install the O2 sensor. Twist it backwards, eight or nine times and then put it in this uh, O2 sensor bump and as you screw it, the wire will untangle itself snug that up and you've successfully installed a post full system on your FZ07